click the New Customer and Job button on the icon list and select New Customer. The top field is labeled Customer Name. QuickBooks recommends treating this as a code rather than just the billing name. The customer name will not appear on invoices and is used by you and QuickBooks for sorting and organizing. Again, it's important to be consistent in your naming convention. Avoid using any spaces or punctuation, even if the company name contains them. Distinguish words by capitalizing them. And use the customer's last name first if there's no company name. Suzanne, enter Cup of Joe into the customer name field just as it appears, and enter zero in the opening balance and 01-01-2007 in the as of date. Make sure to enter any outstanding balance and set the as of date correctly. These are very difficult to change later. The first tab is Address Info, right below the information we just filled in. Enter the company name and contact information as it appears. Pause the lesson if necessary. In our case, the billing and shipping address are the same, but we can use a different shipping address if necessary. Click Copy. Leaving the Show This Window box checked will ensure we always provide complete information and leave the default shipping address option checked since most of our customers have the same billing and shipping address. Again, we need to check our work before moving on because if we need to go back and edit an input field for first or last name, changes will not update in the address or contact window. We will need to do that manually in each window. Click OK.